Well, good morning. I am very excited to be here today. I think we've got a great story to tell you. You saw part of it on the video about Haiti, a situation where Abbott doesn't actually do business in Haiti, but we saw a need to work with partners in health. We brought our skills mixed with their skills, and the end result was truly transformational for the farmers, for the children where malnutrition is being dealt with, and creating a sustainable solution. Thousands of children now have access to a very important product that they would not have had access to before. 300 farmers are now participating in a program where they're delivering high quality peanuts to this factory. This factory now is commercializing product and selling it and creating a sustainable solution. We truly believe we've helped create a lasting impact. But equally important, we at Abbott have learned a lot from this, working with partners in health and working in Haiti. And while we don't have a business there, we do have a big business in India. And when I've been here before, I've talked about the fact that Abbott is very committed in India for the long haul, and we're actually building manufacturing assets. So to step back for a second, our nutrition products are very dependent on dairy farming and dairy ingredients. And I think we all know that if we've been in nutrition business, that farming is a very tough business. In the best of conditions, farmers are good economists, they're smart business people, and in the more challenging situations, if they don't have the right tools and the right education, it's really hard. And then when you dial in climate change and impact and all the things we just heard about, it's a real challenge. Why do we care at Abbott? Well, this picture you're seeing is not a uh, fake picture, it's a real picture of our manufacturing plant that, to, as I'm standing here, it is going into commercialization. Four years ago, we started this project, now we have a manufacturing plant. This plant's going to make nutrition products for India. We need a lot of dairy inputs. The dairy industry in India is very fragmented. It has quality issues. It's a real challenge. So what we committed to do when we built this plant was we said we wanted to source 80% of our ingredients locally. Now, we did that for two reasons. One, there's a business need. And that business need is that we want to buy low-cost, high-quality ingredients so that we can provide our products at good prices and good cost for our Indian customers. But the second thing is we believe it helps when we go local with our communities to create business opportunities for our suppliers and help build the economic circle around the Abbott situation and be good community partners. So that's what we're doing. We're creating, we're solving a business problem, and we're also trying to solve the social and community problems. And when we put those together, we call that shared value, and we're creating shared value in India. We're taking all the lessons we learned in Haiti and applying it to a much larger scale. So what are we doing? We're working with the farmers on their feed, on how to take aflatoxin contamination out of their feed so it doesn't get into the dairy milk. We're working with the farmers on animal husbandry and education, bringing them up, providing them the educational tools so that they can do a better job of producing dairy products. The average farm in India has two animals on it. That's a very small scale. There are thousands and thousands of these. The third area that we're working on is we're working with regional and local communities on building collection centers. So if we get the cow producing high quality milk, but we can't get that milk safely to the dairy converters, we have a problem. So we're actually co-investing and working with suppliers in the rural communities on building collection centers. We put this all together, and this is a picture of our manufacturing plant on the inside. We're going to have enough milk supply, high quality milk supply in India to be able to feed this plant without having to bring any imports in. When we do that, we're going to create significant demand for these suppliers. It's going to build their business. They're going to hire more employees. It's going to help the local communities. And it's going to empower these suppliers as they raise their quality up to go out and get new business. The other thing about this plant, we've designed this plant intentionally to be the most energy efficient plant in our entire global network. This manufacturing plant in India will use, on a per day basis, 10% less energy than our most efficient plants in the United States. Now, what does 10% mean? To put that in reality, that's enough energy to fuel the homes of 4,000 urban Indian families in Mumbai for a year. 
That's significant. It cuts down on the carbon footprint, and we're not done yet. We've made commitments across our global supply chain on all of our manufacturing plants to further improve both from an energy, from a water, and a waste standpoint to continue to drive this. So when we're all done, and it's going to take a while to do this, we're absolutely going to live up to our commitment of improving lives through access to good nutrition, scientific-based nutrition. That's what we do as a company. But we're also going to create sustainable solutions for the community. So as we solve our business problems and we solve the community problems, we're creating that shared value and delivering this for families everywhere in the world. We see this as our responsibility as a business, as a global business, to do this. Today's event is an incredible event. We're so happy to be a part of it. I challenge all of you to join me as we all work together to be part of the solution. I think we have a good understanding of the problems, but let's all be part of the solution. We're trying to do our part, and we're going to do a lot more, and I look forward to working with all of you. I hope you have a great event today. Thank you very much for your time.